Hello and welcome to Bloomberg Print. You're joining us on this special broadcast where we're trying to explain what exactly is happening at Bharat Pay, uh, which is one of India's premier uh, payments firms. Uh, on Wednesday, Bharat Pay released a statement where it said that Ashneel Grover, its co-founder and managing director, uh, is no longer associated with the company. In fact, uh, the statement said uh, that he is no longer an employee, a director uh, or the uh, founder of Bharat Pay. Uh, apart from announcing the uh, severance of ties with uh, Ashneel Grover, uh, the Bharat Pay statement also pointed out that Grover's family uh, had engaged in extensive misappropriation of funds. Uh, in fact, they point out that uh, the family created uh, fake vendors through which they were able to siphon off large amounts of money uh, from Bharat Pay. Uh, and that all of this had culminated in this severance of ties. Now, this statement by Bharat Pay comes in just about a day after uh, Ashneen Grover himself had submitted his resignation. Uh, according to Bharat Pay's assessment, Ashneen Grover received uh, the board agenda, board meeting agenda uh, for the Tuesday evening board meeting, uh, where it was pointed out uh, that the findings of a PWC and Alvarez and Marcel audit, uh, the, the report would be discussed at the board meeting. Uh, and just after learning about uh, the discussion about uh, of the report, uh, Grover submitted his resignation. Nation. Now, Grover's resignation also brings you to a slightly more complex issue as far as uh, the Bharat Pay saga is concerned. Uh, because if you look at the Articles of Association of Bharat Pay, uh, it states very clearly that a, if a founder chooses to end his uh, services uh, with uh, the company uh, for reasons other than death and permanent disability and without adequate approval from the board, uh, then the board of the company, the board of Bharat Pay, has the option of buying back a large uh, quantity of shares owned by the founder uh, and this uh, buyback of shares will be done at a price which is uh, either at the fair market value uh, or at uh, the, the the price at which the uh, founder had originally acquired the shares so whichever is a lower uh, price uh, at that value the, the board can buy back the shares held by the by the founder of the company uh, this, of course, has been a long-standing issue between uh, Ashley Grover as well as uh, the board of Bharat Pay. Ashley Grover claims that he has about 9.5% stake, and according to him, that stake is worth about 4,000 crore, and that he should be uh, he should be getting that amount of money. Uh, however, uh, according to the company, the um, uh, Bharat Pay was last valued at about 2.8 odd billion, and therefore the value of his 9.5% stake will be significantly lower than 4,000 crore. Uh, now we need to see which side prevails. Uh, in fact, this problem is only going to become slightly bigger uh, as uh, both parties try to uh, figure out legal options available to them. Uh, Bharat Pay has already said that it will it, it reserves the right to uh, to go towards a legal option uh, in this issue. Uh, Ashish Grover also uh, is known to have gone to the Singapore uh, Arbitration Tribunal to uh, try and figure out a way to settle uh, this matter. Uh, this is only going to continue, is what I'm trying to tell you, over the next few weeks. Uh, and we at Bloomberg Quint will continue to cover this and uh, will uh, bring you all the up-to-date information. Uh, do check the Bloomberg Quint uh, website uh, for further details on this story. Thank you so much.